Yama Prestani. The world is changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Sauron, the enemy of the free peoples of Middle-earth, was defeated. But they were all of them deceived. In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a Master Ring to control all others. And into this ring he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. Welcome to the Empire Brothers Rampant and welcome back to my Mordor campaign for the Divine Conqueror with AGO and Sosamad's campaign where we're going to continue we left off from last time where today we might get the ring back. Maybe. We'll have to see. Uh, we're really close to Castle Doom right now with my Nazgul army. We're going to see if they can take out the dwarves and get the ring back. In the meantime, I'm going to have it so we're going to start off with this battle here. We're going to try and see if we can do a decent amount of damage. I don't think we can win... That's bullshit. <laughs> but uh, we'll try and see what we can do. Uh, if I can at least try and hold this city a little bit longer, I'll be happy. Because again, all my enemies are kind of being lured into a false sense of security that like, hey, the Nazgul, where'd they go to? Where'd they go? Where'd they disappear to? And they just don't see the war path that's coming for Cats of Doom. And they're like, yeah, let's try and capitalize on this bit. Basically, yeah, take as much land as you possibly can until Sauron gets back. And then all my armies start splitting up and conquering everything. Because at that point, that's when we stop just sitting about and just focus on full-out conquest. So, let's start deployment here. Um, for the most part, I'm going to just sit in the city center. Our units are such shit. I have a lot of archers, at least. Like, that's something. So, we can try and have you guys kind of back here. If you guys will actually adjust. They do not want to. Because my units have shit morale. These guys are going to easily break, for the most part. Uh, they don't want to move at all. Okay, I'll have to just adjust you guys after the battle started. Because at the moment, you're not doing anything. So let's just kind of move you guys here. We're going to try our best to just hold this city center for the most part. Because with what we have... Ah, we're not going to be able to do much. Let's just try and run away. Try and pull back here. We'll have all my archers set up right back here. And try and unload on them. Because if I try and have you guys fight in melee, you're going to get fucking destroyed. So try and have you guys over there... Trying to get some over here as well, maybe. Although I might just have them all back here. And like right there, there. And then maybe like one more here. And like one more right here. That should be about the best we can do. We'll try and hold this spot. See what we can do. Because otherwise the only way I could possibly try and just get this, uh, get them off. If I could get them off the ram, we could maybe hold the city. But... I highly doubt that's going to be the case, so let's just kind of pull back to the center where we have all the morale, and we can at least fight to the bitter last orc. Alrighty, unload! Let's see how much damage we can do. Third of their- three percent of their army's already dead. Decent amount of damage with my archers! I like it, I like it! I'm gonna hope they just come just straight down this area. If they only focus on this spot here, we might be able to do quite a bit of damage. Although they do have quite a few units. Quite a few. We do outnumber them. But they're qual- oh yeah, like that cab unit alone. Oh, they're gonna slaughter my infantry. Oh, they're already starting. Uh, let's see, so far, 16% uh, of the forces have died so far. That's not bad, but yep, they're gonna rush on through with the cav. Push on in, start hitting my archers in melee. I can't really stop them, which is a shame. Just do what you guys can. Unload with the arrows as much as they're able, and we'll see how many we can kill. I'm hoping we can maybe get a third... No. <laughs> There's no way to hell we get a third of the army. Wow, some of you guys actually survived long enough. I was able to kill 39%. Uh, let's try and pull some of these archers back here. And try and get some of you that are fighting melee but still have ammo back a little bit. Oh, they're also just unloading on my dudes. Yeah. I think this is it now. 
We killed 40% though. That's actually not bad. For my crappy little army I had here, us killing 40% of them is not bad. But their skirmishers can just slaughter my skirmishers. They're just far better. They have far more range and more damage. But hey, 41%? I will take it. They'll probably recover and get back down to about a third. Which is okay. So they'll take the city. We'll have to come back again. But for the most part right now, we have um, our forces uh, all focusing on the eastern area around here. We're trying to go over more towards the Sea of Rune at the moment. So this area... I, I, I wasn't expecting much. So this is honestly better than I was expecting. Yeah, 36%. So we killed 36% of their forces here. Not bad. Because today is the interesting bit. Once we get back around to the turn end, or back to my turn, uh, we have the Nazgul are just about to cross the Anduin River. They're just about to cross, making their way near the Elves. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm going to hope that Isengard do, is doing a bit of damage to them, so that we can kind of just sneak on in, make my way over to Casa Doom. I still think we should be fine without grabbing any mercenaries or anything like that, just because the Nazgul units are fucking disgusting. And I have six of them. And I've got a balanced army. That's the thing. We have a balanced army of Nazgul. And I think every single one of my Nazgul units has armor piercing. So even the dwarves with their insane armor, we can do quite a bit against. Because I believe every single one of my units has armor piercing. I know the archers do. Um, I can't remember if the infantry does. I believe they do. And I think the cav does? I'll have to double check that. Because if they have armor piercing... We'll be able to very easily kind of push on in through the dwarves. So, Vale Jordan Vinian, you guys took Viltor, uh, that's fine. We will be reclaiming that at a later date. But for the most part, well, without the Nazgul, we can't easily push you guys back. We can't even hold you guys at bay. You will be able to push into us for right now, and that's fine. Let you guys feel like you're getting somewhere. Because once I get the ring, we'll also we'll be, we'll merge with Dolodor. Which is nice. We'll kind of make up for these cities we've lost here. And we'll get their Nazgul as well. We'll get all of their Nazgul. So we'll have up to nine Nazgul. And then um, we'll have Sauron as well. Sauron will lead his own army. You guys are coming back again for Minas Morgul. That's fine. All good. Go ahead for that. We slaughtered you guys last time. Come at us once They're more if you really want. Care Andros is a little bit iffy. Uh, simply because you guys have They're less men the there. I think it's a small enough army. I might actually sally out with the forces I have in the fort. Bring them over to help out Care Andros. Because it depends on what's in that army. For the most part, we have been able to hold off Gondor for the most part because their unit quality has been still pretty bad. And hopefully we'll be able to get uh, Sauron here soon. The sooner we get Sauron, the better. Because I need to blitz Minas Tirith as soon as we get him back. Simply because I can't let them get their elite units. If, so, if Gondor gets their elite units, I'm going to struggle against them more. Far more than we currently have been. Because their their elite units can compete with the Nazgul. Their basic militia cannot. Let's see, Moria's under siege. Again, you better not. Is that what you want? We got some trolls in there that this time. Still has the ring, still has a decent army. Just don't lose to Isengard. That's all I'm asking. Um, oh, also, actually... Uh, yeah, you. Ready. To make it a bit easier to get over here... Let's see. So, for the most part... It looks pretty safe. Because I want to go to about here. We should be able to hide in the trees. Yep, we are hiding in the trees. Um, in the end, let me check this. So you guys do not have effective against armor on the cav. The infantry do not either. Okay. So it is only my archers have effective against armor. Oh, no, 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 you. You have effective against armor. Everybody else does not set. Okay. That's, that's a shame. Um, let's see. So forces melt away. That's to be expected. We got our asses hit there. They occupied it. Um, it is Mughul. They're fine. I, I, I've got even more guys around here. I have cav this time. So I can properly try and run you guys down if you guys assault us. Other than that, we also have Care Andros. Care Andros, let's see, so for you guys here. Trying to get a bit of cap there. They are on a bridge. They're starting to run around with larger armies around here that I don't really like. I really don't like that. I do think, oh good, we've got more men around here. 
I'm gonna have you make your way towards uh, Sir Angol. You can make your way over there. I really want to, because we've already got Saragos, is built up about as much as I can. Um, I do need the mines in Berader. So it sounds, uh, I'm gonna get the better carpenters out here. Grab the better carpenters hot right there. Durthang. You now have the Black Temple. I, ah, uh, yes. It takes so long, but I'm gonna start recruiting these guys. Start recruiting those guys, because now I can actually recruit these units, which is amazing. That's going to be great. So start that up. Uh, other than that, I don't have enough money to get anything else right now. That's okay. What's going on here? Most advanced faction. Diplomatic. Okay. But I do think... We'll take you guys. Yeah, oh yeah, we can do this. Uh, I'll command these guys myself. Yeah, with that. Yeah, we can easily do that. Because I get to surround them. Oh, damn it. I should have put you uh, right here. I don't have anybody with stakes, though, so it shouldn't really matter all that much, so that should be fine. We'll just have to line up on the this side of the bridge, wait for my reinforcements, and then we can fully surround these guys, kill them all off. This force will then run back to the fort, wait there. Because I don't want to put them in Karandros just yet. I think it's better to leave a smaller army in Karandros, so they don't send a full stack. Usually they'll try and send a full stack if I have a decent amount of men on the ba uh, map already. But uh, without that, we should be okay. So it's like you guys kind of back up here. Let's grab... Let's see, so you guys. Kind of like so. So. Actually, kind of like... Um, yeah, let's have one of you there. And then one of you kind of just there-ish. That should do. Uh, guard position, and then my general, you're actually a halberd unit, so I'll actually have you back here in case they decide to start trying to push through you. So everybody on guard position, and then we have to wait for our reinforcements, make sure you guys have skirmish off, start the battle. So they should start advancing across. Or not? Nope, they are not advancing actually at the moment. Okay. And then the reinforcements, that's all of you guys. Yeah, so from here on, so let's have it so archers group you guys up, and then it was yeah, these guys. Group them up. I have a lot of infantry, which kind of concerns me. Uh, but let's start trying to move you guys forward here. So try and line up there, and then my skirmishers as well. Try and move up behind them. Cav kind of off to the side. Uh, everybody with skirmish mode available, make sure you turn it off there. They are unloading on my guys just because they have better archers than me. They don't have a ton of them, at least. So that's good. So we'll take a little bit of damage as we try and get my infantry into position, but we'll wait until my guys are right behind them before we start trying to advance on them. Okay, so my archers are starting to unload onto these guys. Uh, I should probably have you guys wait on the grenades, but start trying to uh, focus on this Rohirrim Asha unit, please. We want to try and make sure that we can kind of slowly whittle down the... Okay, now they're starting to do that sort of movement. Let's actually have my melee cab kind of rush on into melee with you. Uh, come on, and run them off the map if you can. They're shaking, so they might break if you charge them. So let's have you do that. Uh, infantry and everybody else, let's kind of keep pushing forward. So let's have you guys make your way up here. Skirmishers make your way up here. Get close enough that we can start unloading on their cab, and hopefully they kind of just sit there. <laughs> hopefully they'll just let, sit there and let me shoot them, so that we can kind of get rid of these guys. Because it'll be kind of a death sentence for me to try and run across at this moment just yet. Okay, they're at least moving up with their horse archers, so the horse archers are being unloaded onto. Uh, I wish I knew how much ammo these guys had left. Actually, it looks like they're done. Okay, so they have no more ammo for their archers here, or they've at least stopped shooting us for now. Perfect. Uh, my cav here, you were able to break those guys and get them off of the map. Perfect. Let's bring you back over to our forces then. Because, let's see, this unit here is at 49, that one's at 48, and then they've got all the other light cav Rohirrim units that we still have to deal with. I definitely want to try and bring my cap over here to try and hit them. I'm debating on starting to try and make my way over to try and advance into you guys. I'd prefer if you advanced onto me, but I don't think that's going to happen. And actually, oh, they're kind of pulling away from... Oh, wait. Nope, never mind. I'm glad I didn't do anything. Okay, yeah, because all of these guys here, they're trying out now starting to try and make their way over. So we can have you focus on them. These units here still just kind of keep holding as we're... Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Hold off there. I need to try and focus on more of their uh, just Gondor cab and Rohirrim more specifically. So if you guys can try and focus on these guys right here. Because I've done a decent amount of damage to their horse archers, but I need to try and minimize the amount of cab they have. They still have quite a few of them. A lot of infantry in there. 
But hey, for the most part, you guys are getting your asses kicked over here, so perfect. I would love if you guys would keep sending all your men over this way since I already have this nice area to defend from. Oh, <laughs> thank you! Thank you for doing just as I asked. Awesome. Are they bringing everybody? Yeah, they're slowly bringing everybody over. Uh, keep trying to focus on this unit. So you make your way over there, and then let's move my infantry forward here. I'm going to try and see if we can entrap them on the bridge. Number one, so far we've taken out a third of the army. I'm going to do well over there. Cab, let's kind of get you over to the side here. I want to try and make sure we can kind of run those guys down in case they start breaking. You don't have an... Oh, you actually don't have a, an ability? We... Oh, interesting. Your, your special ability that you get to keep is your... Hey, I get to be able to still be a pikeman. Um, it's interesting that they don't let him have his normal um, actual yelling at people. Well, not yelling. Um, his ability to rally people, which is interesting. Okay, let's move my um, skirmishers up here. Let's kind of move you guys up. We now want to try and get to behind you guys. Basically get all of you guys right here. Right behind them. I'm going to have to make sure that uh, we try and bring my grenades up too. Because they're actually pretty blobbed up right now. So if we can get you up there, kind of unload on them, that'd be perfect. Now the cab, yeah, run those guys off the map again. After about half of their army is now dead at this point. There we go. You guys are on the bridge. Perfect. Um, I'm going to try and bring my other reinforcements over. It's three guys. It's not going to really do much. That's fine, though. Uh, you guys can't really shoot anybody right now. That's fine. Um, the enemy general is now finally dead. So I think... Let's see. My cab. Let's have you hit that archer over there first. Then I think if we start trying to hit them, they might start breaking. Let's see if they'll 75% of their forces so far at this point. Uh, you're doing pretty well there. Let's try and hit them with the grenades. As this is a territorial guardsman, he should die pretty easily once I have um, all my guys unload on him. He's at 114. Can you guys not hit him from here? No, you guys can't. I've got this unit still trying. Those archers are now dead. Uh, number wise are 82. So it's just this stuff that's left. So let's have my infantry. Start trying to make your way up here. Start trying to surround them. My infantry is breaking there. Awesome. Okay, keep making your way over here. Grenades. Now unload on them now that they are out of the way. Kind of pull back a little bit if you can. There's just the... Oh, shit. The wards are right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, run away. Run in it away, my grenades. Please. I'm going to have you try and focus your ammo onto the wardens. I'm trying to get all of my infantry to focus on and focusing on you guys. This cab unit's ready. Let's get you back over here. Uh, you guys are running away back towards them. Why? Why would you do this? Yeah, because they're just uh, absolutely just capturing all of you. Uh, grenades keep running, keep running, keep running. Kind of run over here. They're probably going to get across the entire side, honestly. Because now we have them on this side. My melee cap, I can bring you over here to try and help out against the territory guardsmen. A lot of my infantry is just breaking now at this point. Not the best? I might have to try and surround and uh, hit them with my cap, honestly. Because you guys are taking your time to get back over here. Let's see. That's my men. The Wardens are just sitting there. I'm trying to do that unit specifically, because that's the more dangerous unit out of the two. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. You guys are now here hitting this unit. Uh, let's see. He's shaking. Yeah, if I can get my other cab to hit the other side, we can easily break that guy. But for the moment right now, crossbows and other skirmishers, you need to try and open up on this guy. Grenades get a little bit closer. Because he's just sitting there. Just unload on him with the grenades. He's at 38. Oh, wow. Okay, you just fucking deleted them. You've, like, one more hit. Yeah, that's about it. Damn. They're running back towards their forces now, though. So, okay, I can try and bring my cab over this way. Let's try and have you guys hit from the other angle. Uh, practically all of you guys have no ammo. So let's have you three and the general also try and make your way on over here. Start trying to surround them. Uh, most of you have no ammo. We now just have to throw ourselves at them. As well. Yeah, they're fighting to the death now. And he's just the wardens maybe the Because if we have everybody focus on them. They, they can't survive this. There we go. Took long enough. Okay, so we didn't... Uh, it was pretty even on casualties. Not bad. But we were able to take out that entire force. Not bad. Okay. So now we're going to have to try and take Burz back to the fort back around there. I need to get him some reinforcements. He, he desperately does need some reinforcements around here, as I'm still trying to hold as best as we can until we get the One Ring. I'm hoping that the dwarves don't lose to Isengard, but Isengard does a decent amount of damage to them. Because if I have to fight an Isengard army, that's fine, but I just don't want to declare war on them just yet. 
Not yet, not yet. We'll get there, but not just yet. And I'm most certainly going to execute all of you. So execute all of those guys. And then, let's see, so... I can recruit a little bit around here. I can train some as well. Let's try and train you. Uh, this army... I'm just gonna pull you back. I didn't realize I lost uh, so many of my infantry. Damn. Yeah, pull back over here. Hopefully... I, this army doesn't do anything. Please don't. Uh, I'm gonna try and recruit some stuff around the Moranian to maybe bring down back around this way. Like, you would be great. And otherwise, we're just waiting on these guys. I can get a couple more basic fodder units as well. Okay. So now, because uh, at this point in time, we need about three, two to three, two to three turns to be able to get over to Kazadu. Once we can get over the... Oh, shit, I forgot about you guys. That's fine. Uh, you guys need to make sure that area is happy anyways before you can even leave that region. Because we don't have a ton of dudes around there. They do quite a bit of damage. Um, and it's going to be a little while until the area is happy. So we'll probably have to sit there for a couple turns. Maybe until, uh, basically I think it might line up really well. Like once we start hitting Casa Doom, maybe these guys can finally move out of there and they'll be happy enough for that. The King of Dale is dead. What? Who the fuck killed him? Interesting. Let's see, how's things going over here? Um, they put, okay, they did some damage to the dwarves, but the dwarves held. They still have the ring, correct? They should. Yes, they do. Okay. Good, good. Okay, let's keep making our way over. So let's go to here next. Uh, again, keep having the spy around here. Please don't have anybody in the way next turn. Because basically... Oh, we're almost there. You're in the way, so I have to hope that you move. But for the most part, the Nazgul are almost there. Literally, it's in sight. The mountain is right there. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for this. Uh, you guys are war with each other. Your allies. Okay. Arid Loon's liking me. Good. I like that. Especially since you guys went evil. Let's see, how are you guys doing over here? Because I've got a lot of men over here. This area, not doing the best. You aren't either. Conversion-wise, it's 16. Uh, let's get the better shrine around here if you guys can. Let's see, are they doing anything still? No, not yet. They're leaving us alone. Okay. Gives me some time to try and retrain and recruit more units around here. And then where'd my glorified watchdog builder go? Here he is. So let's have you put one right up here again. Because you got it, you got a timetable, man. You got to get these watchtowers up before Sauron gets back. So you got all of that now. That should be it for this turn. Because again, these areas I don't think are happy. And also, I actually want to try and retrain some of you guys before we try and move out of here specifically. Because they're not doing the best. Um, you have like no garrison. Do you even walls? No. Okay, so they can very easily take that city if they ever wanted to. I'm gonna hope they just ignore it. Again, give me time. Because it'll take us. But yeah, three, I think three turns makes sense for when we're going to be able to try and hit Kaza Doom. And then we have to also bring the ring back. Not only do we have to claim the ring from Kaza Doom, but we also have to deliver it back to Mount Doom to be able to summon Sauron. Okay, looks like Isengard had my bag there. Thank you for protecting me. Um, let's keep making our way up. So it looks like you guys are in the way, so we're going to have to make our way up as far as we can. But then next turn, um, you might move. Otherwise, I'm going to need two turns to get to Kazadoom right now. Because if you stop my movement, I'm going to have to move up a little bit, then move up a little bit more the next turn. But we'll have to see what you do. Hopefully, you'll move out of the way so we can start sieging it next turn, and we can beat you to the ring. Uh, anything else really going on right now? No sieges. Still haven't assaulted us here yet. I'm waiting for you guys to do that. Uh, you guys are good. I will make sure you retrain that unit. Ooh, get a ballista. Yeah, get a ballista there, because then Carandros can actually defend itself. It's still another, what, two turns until those units finish up. I'll get a couple more random fodder guys that I'll try and bring over to this army. Um, Iranian, you're grabbing uh, already one of the Rim units. I'm going to have us let's get some more uh, basic archers around here to help out. We still haven't advanced in over here just yet. Good. Uh, do I have enough to build anything here? No, there's actually nothing to build right now. Okay. Still can't retrain that unit. Okay. Now let's see now whether or not they're going to move and I can actually get to Casa Doom. Guys, do you have to keep doing this? You're doing everything possible to prevent me from getting over to Casa Doom today. Well, hello, Captain Baimelier. Uh, you will try and fail to assault Minas Mogul, as you don't do not have any reinforcements to help you out here, and I have more crap than I had last time. So, you guys should absolutely get destroyed here, because I've got my ballistas, I've got all my archers. I have Cav this time, so I'm not going to just run at you guys down pretty easily to make sure I can get the Magic 85 and properly kill this entire army. So, hey, throw your men's lives away, I don't mind. If I capture them all, too, I could try and ransom them. 
I'm, I'm really hoping that we can get a bit of extra money around here, because at the moment, things are going okay in our defenses uh, without the Nazgul. I'm still hoping that if we do get to Kazadoom, I'm hoping, and we actually succeed in taking it, um, I'm hoping that we'll actually be fine holding the area there, too, because I want to keep that money. I really do. So it's my archers kind of set up there, Ballista's right there, and then I'll have it so, again, we're going to try and put you guys up front. I'll do it just to you guys in a second. Because you guys did amazingly well last time. You got a lot of kills. They're not really listening to my orders. That's fine. It'll take them some time to get the things down so we can kind of move you guys into position. So let's kind of go, oh, actually, kind of more so like that and that. And then have support with all of my other dudes right next to them, kind of on top, so that they can kind of give them some back support, backbone support. Right there there and then i've got two more kind of staggered back a little bit here here and here just to make sure that there's a nice big gap in the there, there just so there's a nice gap for my ballistas and archers to shoot into so you guys are good there you guys make sure you all have skirmishmen off ballistas are fine i'll make sure you guys are unloading on them as soon as the gates are down which they're still making their way forward they're just about here and this is just led by a captain, so for the most part, as soon as we get him in here, and we can maybe kind of kill him, and it's unlikely since there's so many of them, but hey, because they're just led by captains, even if he doesn't die, they should break pretty easily. Okay, so here they come. I'm going to hold off on letting my ballistas start opening fire just yet. I'm going to wait until they're all here, which I'd say right about now, and I think it's this cab unit here, is the one that we need to try and open up on. Uh, you guys, for some reason, oh, now you're shooting. But oh, there we go. Unload on them! 1% so far. You're not firing. Try and aim over there. Uh, these two aren't shooting for some reason from where they're at. Let's move you guys up a little bit closer. Number wise, 2% to 1%. And now that the ballista... Oh, there we go. Yeah, some of the guys are already starting to break. Yeah, 1 to 4 now. Now that the ballistas are starting to unload on them. Perfect. 8% already. Oh, enemy general's already dead. <laughs> You tried, man. I, I have to give you props. You at least tried to assault Minas Morgul, but um, I, I think you just kind of lost the report about what happened last time, as my ballistas are absolutely slaughtering you. Oh, you're just stuck there in the gates. Oh, you poor, poor bastards. I'm kind of ashamed that most of you guys didn't run. Uh, only a couple of them started to break. They still had a lot of infantry on the bridge there with some of their archers. I held my calf back because there's no reason for me to overextend myself here. We still did a decent amount of damage. Still killed a third of their army. And Minas Morgul is safe for now. I would have liked to have killed the rest of that army off. But hey, if they did minimal damage, that's fine. We lost 40 guys. So we'll make sure that we try and start tr uh, replenishing our forces around here. Because at the moment, I it will take a lot for them to actually be able to push on in through Minas Morgul. It really will. Because last time they had two full stacks. And that was when I had less stuff now than I do now. It will probably take almost three stacks, or one good full stack, or maybe two good full stacks. I'm not sure, but at the moment right now, they will need more than what they're sending at us to be able to push on through this area, just with what I've got. Because my minute, my as long as my infantry holds up, I'm good. Because my oh shit! Can you uh, not attack that fort? Honestly, I probably should have put him into the ca into Care Andros now at this point, because they are they have a lot of shit. Both areas are just now under assault. Because I might lose that unique general. He is a unique general, even if he's um, bad. <laughs> I don't want to lose a unique general just because he's bad. We have to try and save him. Now the question is with Isengard. Did you guys move that army? If they did, we can start sieging it next turn. Hopefully there's nobody in the way to prevent us. Oh, actually, the gates might open with my spy. I'd like that. I would love if the gates would open with a spy, just so we can kind of take the city sooner rather than later. I know in this mod, uh, spies gate oh, with gates opening them up, uh, it's pretty low that they actually succeed. It's not nearly as high as in some other mods, so I highly doubt that's going to be the case. Um, and we can't be sacked. <gasps> <laughs> also, I need to kind of look around here and see if I... I didn't get to see if there's any armies around here, but let's see. Right. So right now, we have a 8% chance of opening the gates. They do have a lot in here now. They've taken a lot of damage. That's there's nobody idea. sieging it. Um, let's kind of wait on that just one second. Right. Let me first try and get you in there. 
and then that brings our chances up to 11% chances. Come on. I'm not at war with you yet. Ah! I don't need these, though. I know, On this side, I don't need anything. I know I don't. Um, I am going to grab some mercenaries. I don't really think we need them, but I kind of want to grab these guys just in case. Or more so for when we're done. Primarily so we have at least somebody to kind of watch over the city um, once we're done capturing it. Because I want to make sure that we can have, we actually should keep this area. Because it's, it makes a ton of money. And I want to make sure we keep that. Um, Gothmog's doing well. Get more command when defending walls. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, now over here. Where, um... Uh... Be gone. I might be able to defend that. I, I, I might be able to defend that. I think you guys will be fine. Uh, let's have you retrain your forces. Let's retrain all of this stuff. Try to train all of you. And then I'm going to send I'll another one of these guys in here just as more defenses. Because honestly, we've got quite a few guys right around here to kind of help support. I probably... Let's, uh, let's take all of you. Let's kind of move up this way. I'm going to grab all of these guys. And I'll basically have it so that next turn... All of you guys, make your way down around this way. Try and see if you can get over to help out this guy. Or maybe I'll have you go down this way. It depends if this Barbie moves. If you move, then I can move these guys uh, out this way. Try and bring them up around to this fort. Try and reinforce them, as I do need some reinforcements there. But we have now begun the siege of Khazad-dûm. Hopefully, hopefully, nobody interrupts me. Because at the moment, um, the elves could maybe send somebody over this way up north to try and hit me. But I don't think that's going to happen. I'm kind of sad. Actually, let me bring this other... Oh, you're not close enough. Let me bring you... and eh, take way too long to run out of that way. Because I should probably send you over this way. And then I'm going to have it so... I want to sneak about here and kind of figure out... I, I need to send all my spies over this way. Just to try and have it so you guys can help scout out around where my Nazgul are. So we have a bit better of an idea of what's going on around here. Especially when we start trying to leave here. So I'll send you over there and right there. And then money-wise, we have a little bit more cash. You can keep building some more watchtowers right here and right here. On that, um, I can get about another carpenter's hut right there. Let's grab that. I'm going to try and max these out, and then we're going to start trying to get more stuff around here. Honestly, I really want to get the roads. I want to make sure we have the roads around all these areas. They don't do a ton, but like this area here, if we got the roads, that would give us five. <laughs> it would give us fucking five. Uh, this one would go up, okay, 28. I know it, it compounds the more of them that I have, but it's just so fucking bad. You guys here... Okay, this one is actually decent. That one go to 254, so double that. That'll probably be the first area we grab it. Um, I, you guys also don't have those roads. So, like, you would go... 42. And, like, this area would go to... 27. <laughs> yeah, some of these areas really don't make a lot of trade at the moment. I guess you're gonna give me... I just want to get to Kazatoum! Stop interrupting me with these sieges here! Uh, let's see. So, they've got ballistas. If I can get you guys onto the walls, we might be able to hold this. We'll have to try and see. They have the ballistas. They have their artillery pieces, or sorry, their ballistas, and then their siege equipment. Uh, and I have the one cav unit. That's it. We can try and send them out, see if we can get them off of everything besides just their ladders, and then we might be able to hold. That's a, that's our best get. Because, like, I could hold back at the city center, but our troop quality is just worse. So we need to try and hold on the walls specifically. So let's deployment. Get everybody off of the walls. I do at least have some better inventory now here, so let's get uh, you guys and you you two up here. Um, let's get... can't get up there. Uh, can you, is that just it? Is that all the space up here? Oh no, there's a little bit more space. Tiny bit of space. That's about it over there, though. Uh, all of you over on this side. So that's all of you... oh, that's all of you guys at least. Uh, bring this guy over, at least just have him kind of near the walls. Yeah, just somewhere around there. Uh, I'm excited I didn't get that ballista in time. I will try and have it, so we'll just have all my archers. I'll have to adjust you guys in a second, because you've been idiots. So let's have you start the battle, and then start charging the ballistas. Um, and then let's adjust my archers, so we're going to kind of go around here. I think you guys can maybe... No, you're fine as you are, for the most part. Let's kind of stand here. You turn the off initially, but then kind of have it so that you guys are close enough that you can throw two grenades at this spot. Because that's where I'm assuming they'll bring the ladders. That's my assumption. So kind of right there... Uh, let's have some archers right here, right here, here, 
your javelins, so kind of like right there, and then the last archer kind of right here. That should be good for all of you guys. Make sure you turn skirmish mode off if you have it. Uh, oh, that was you. That's the one. Okay. Then let's have you kind of pull back. The ballistas are they're, they're dropping them at the moment. So let's try and hit this next one. I'm just a little worried that they're going to bring somebody else over. Just get them to drop their ballistas and kind of walk away from them. Because usually, once they drop them, they don't usually pick them back up. Okay, this one isn't dropped yet. And then we have to make sure we get them off the ram. The ladders are over there. I don't know what the hell you're trying to do with those. Okay, let's now just have to hit this guy. Because I think that ram, uh, that ballista has dropped their thing. You try to pick up your other ballista. Interesting. Okay, I think that should be good. No, they are not dropping that ballista there. Okay, I might just have to literally kill everything. There we go. That one's not routing. Okay, this last one. Still not advancing up just yet with your ram. Oh, just about there. Okay, let's pull back. Pull back here. Ladders are moving up. Uh, that siege tower doesn't seem to be moving forward. No, it is. It is. Okay, let's go hit that first. That's far more important than the ram at the moment, because the ram's a bit easier to get them off of that. Ladders are good. Leave it alone. Let's just kind of go around here. Let you get up to the walls. Oh, uh, yeah. Hit, the, hit that. And then we have to go try and thread the needle and get them off of the ram as well. Siege tower here. Drop it. There you go. It's dropped. Okay, pull away. Now that's dropped here. Okay, we should have enough time. Uh, you're back up on the ballista. I'm bl uh, ram first. Hit those farmhand pikemen. Get them off of that first. Then we can try and get you guys off of that ballista. Because the ladders are almost up. Let's hit you again. Because I, I want to make sure these towers are active as much as possible. Uh, come on, kill them. Oh, I only got ten of you guys. Okay, let's kind of pull away for now. I need to make sure you guys stay alive and you're ready to try and charge at them if they try and bring anything else forward. But I think... Yeah, I think at this point... I do have the ballistas. That's what concerns me. Is the ballistas are still alive. So let's have you kind of run away over this way. Let's get that last ballista. I need to kill it. I need to kill that ballista. Also, although... Might not be worth it if I do lose my captain. Because if my captain dies, they will be able to just easily break us. Come on. You make it so it's inoperable. Pull away from those units. Stay away from that infantry. Ballista, has got eight guys left. Run away from this unit for now. I'm at least wasting a lot of time. They've lost 18% of the forces so far. Kind of pull back over this way. Can you stop? <laughs> You're in the way, you bastard. Okay, kind of run around the other way. Go around this way. I know, I, I just need one good charge. One more good charge, and that should be the last of that ballista. Unless we can just destroy it with fire arrows. Yeah, there's like seven of them. Yeah, seven of them, one good charge, then you're dead. I can pull you guys away, and then we're just waiting for them to properly advance onto the ladders. And I don't think they will until the ballistas are dead. Which, any second now. Try and run away now. Nope, just don't fight. Do not fight. Captain's still alive? Okay. And I think that's my cue to run. Okay, they're gonna let me have some time here, I guess, seeing as how they only had primarily just the couple of units they sent forward initially die. I'm okay with this. Gives me a little bit closer to Kazadum. As as long as nobody does anything to that army during this turn end, I will be able to assault Kazadum. And because they've taken a lot more damage over the time that I've been making my way over here, I think we're fine. I don't think we're gonna have to struggle that much to push into it, because they've lost a lot of their elite units. They've got a lot less just basic uh, dwarves now at this point. They don't have any... I, didn't, I don't remember seeing that many skirmishers in that army either. So, like, honestly, Zagar and Leofric, honestly, maybe just kill the entire enemy army in there because they have no skirmishers. The dwarves... I, I have armor piercing, so even though they usually have really high armor, I can slaughter them. Because then we're one step closer to the ring. Because once we have it, then we just have to make sure we get it back over to uh, Mount Doom. Are these guys going to try and attack the fort? No, you stopped! I'm, okay, there's one thing, two things I could do right now. I'm debating on bringing that guy that's in the fort over here, just bringing him into Karandros. Karandros is holding on its own, and so maybe he doesn't need to help them out. And at the moment, I kind of need to prevent them from wanting to go up towards Gelebrin. So leaving that fort there, and having so that there's some incentive to try and attack it, is maybe not the worst idea. 
I still need to try and get some more reinforcements over here to that army. And I've got them right now near the Moranian. I don't think... I think if I did have them go through the north, it'll take them too long to get there. And they're probably just going to be attacked. Because let's see. Also, Mori's under siege! Yes, this time by us. Uh, did anything happen during that? Nope. Did they get a garrison? Okay, so they did get some dwarven defenders. Uh, they do have a ballista. So they have a ballista, Kassad sentries, and then just a bunch of volunteers. And then they've got some travelers. Okay, so they do have a couple skirmishers. Your bodyguard is what again, Balin? Balin's god. Oh my fuck. 40 fucking 7 defense. Holy shit, man. Zenith guard. Okay. <laughs> that is a fucking disgusting unit. Oh, you guys finally finished. Ooh. I can't wait for you guys to be back. Okay. Uh, are there any other random mercenaries around here for when we take it, or when we try and garrison this? Nope. Okay. Hello, Kazadoom. So there's 1,300 of you. Technically, there's like 600 of an effective army. I'm not going to even really use you. I d I'm only having you for garrisons next after this. But bounce power is pretty even. They got the one ballista. There's only one way in. There's one way into this area. And it's a tiny ass fucking bridge. Oh, that's going to be interesting. But here we are. Kazadoom's finally here. We ha I, I have to make sure that my archers focus on that general's bodyguard. There is no way in hell I'm winning against that thing in melee. That thing is disgusting. That is, like, I, I've played as a dwarf a little bit. I played as Aaron Lewin before. My general's bodyguard never had anything like that. What the fuck, Ballin? I can now understand why he decided to take the ring, because god damn. But yeah, so, um, yeah, 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 we gotta, we gotta cross this fucking bridge. <laughs> we gotta cross this bridge. Um, I hate that I can't, like, you, you're not necessary. Um... No, I can't do anything. I, I, I hate that I can't somehow surround and go around. So we have to go through this area. Okay. Well, we've got my infantry. We've got my... Oh, I can't move you guys here? There we go. Because we've got you guys here. Basically, you two are going to be doing a lot of the damage initially. So start, start the battle. Um, oh, are they not... <gasps> are you seriously... Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. I have some time to actually try and run over here and just take the city center. Ooh, because we don't have to worry about the bridge as much. That'd be great. Because they're not there. Okay. Hmm. They have a lot of guys, though. It might be kind of a trap. The Witch King here, I wish. I wish there was like a side passage or anything, but sadly there isn't. <sighs> Literally, we just have to run on over. We have to run on over here, walk on into the city center, and then ideally I need to have you two try and focus on the general's bodyguard. We can now kind of test and see what happens if I use... Hey, okay, so here's one. Use the supporting general. And then that, I believe, is Balin. That is just still a disgusting unit. I have to kill that with my archers. I have to kill that with my archers, otherwise this battle here could be... Like, I have six Nazgul, but that one unit alone could absolutely fucking destroy me. Like, some of these units I don't care about. You guys I do. They don't have a lot of archers as well, and their ballistas, like, right here. The ballista might try and do something. I'm trying to get you guys all up here initially. Yeah, because please just don't unload with that ballista as I'm trying to cross this area. Just please don't do that. Uh, what are you guys doing? Go across the bridge, guys. There you go. Yeah, make your way across the bridge. I'm glad they didn't try and sit up here like I would. So at the moment. Yeah, there's the Zenith Guard. Zenith Guard there, and then yeah, the Balin's Guard. God, that's a disgusting unit. Everything else, the Dwarven Defenders, your stats are dog shit. In comparison to my guys, that's fine. That's not that bad. Um, my defense skill is higher. The Zenith Guard is not that bad in comparison to my infantry. But it's the Balin's Guard. 26 fucking armor. Effective against armor. What the hell is this chaos? Like, 
That is a bodyguard that I could actually see very easily, honestly, taking on the fucking Balrog with ease. That thing, that is like one of the most disgusting infantry units I've ever seen in Smond. I know that elves also have some pretty strong ones as well, but my god. Okay, uh, you guys, kind of pull it back up here. Ballista's well, starting to try and unload. I think what I might try and do is first, let's try and, uh, move off to the side here. Move off to the side here. You guys, get kind of running forward. Please don't get hit by that ballista. I'm gonna try and have... So that's a Dwarven Traveler unit. Which King of Angmar, let's make your way over here and start charging into these guys. You can probably get some good damage initially. I don't want to have to just walk all the way into the city center, but I probably do. Uh, I, do I want to kind of be able to kite them if I can a little bit. Let's hit an initial charge over here with you. And then let's kind of pull back a little bit. So kind of make your way back here. And then let's take my archers and let's try and have you guys go right there. Ideally, I would love if I could lure them back, but I don't think I'll be able to. If we can, I'm not opposed to it. And you guys just rush on up here. Hey, the witch can't. One of the horses there. And yeah, back off here for a little bit. You guys kind of stop for a second. Uh, also, cease fire for just a moment. Just wait. I need to make sure you can hit the unit. These are all basic units. I don't care about you. The Ballin's Guard. Can you guys shoot him? Technically, you can. Are you actually going to hit him? I'll try this one volley to see if you'll actually hit him. Because if you can hit him from this angle, I'll let you... No, you can't. You can't hit him from that angle. Okay. Well, for the moment, let's have everybody else start making their way forward. Start trying to push on through these defenders. If we can start just capturing the city center, I will be very happy. You should be able to very easily kind of push on in through these guys. Just please don't send a ball on yet. Please wait. Please wait until I can have some time to get my archers up here. Because at the moment, there is some space on the sides. I can try and send you over here. And you over... I should have space. No, I can't really easily put them over here. Oh, no, that worked. Yeah, so right there and right there. And then just don't join in on the fight. And then just shoot Ballin. <laughs> just shoot Ballin. That's your, that's your job. Use all your ammunition and kill him. And please don't run into melee. Okay, you're slowly doing some damage to him. He's got 73 guys now. Both of you can open up on him. Start trying to kill Ballin. If they send any... If they, okay, if they send all their infantry in to fight us, that's when I'm going to be like, okay, hey, let's now have it so that we... Um, We'll use all of our abilities all at once. And I kind of want to see what happens if I use all of my screams all at the same time. If I can just instantly route an army effectively, almost. I'm tempted to see. Number-wise, let's see. 6 to 11 so far. Ballin's taking a bit of damage. Quite a bit there. These are just Dwarven defenders here. Uh, they are trying to return fire. Um, can I... Honestly, I'm hoping that we actually kind of slow. Because as soon as I start capturing the city center, that's probably when Ballin's going to make his way over. I've taken out almost 30 guys so far. I haven't done anything to the Zenith Guard, but I think that's okay. Which King of Angmar. I kind of want to run you in here and have you go around the side and somehow get you to flank, but I think I'm going to hold off. I don't know which one you are exactly right now. I think that's actually Ganaltan. I think that's Ganaltan is this one. You're taking the most damage out of all of these guys so far. You are winning. Otherwise, 12 to 19. I would ideally love if we can kind of push them out of the city center. If we're going to try and have it so we just hold this point. Balin's guard. Okay, he's at 31 guys. Okay, you have about half your ammo left at this point. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no. No, oh, Shivos is the first one down. God damn it, Shivos. You were the first one that also was wounded. I think it's this one, actually, is Shivos then. So we lost one Nazgul in the assault. Eh, not the best, but it's kind of what we had. Uh, we were kind of expecting here slightly. Can I still use the ability? Yeah, I can still use the ability even though he's died. That's fine. He'll be the first one sent back to uh, Mordor. Okay, we're almost done with the infantry there. Ballin's Guard is down to 18 guys. They still have two-thirds of their army left at this point. Really want to make sure we can have some ammo for the Zenith Guard as well. Let's have you guys switch to them. Because there's 13 of them. We haven't killed him yet. Yeah, at least get a couple volleys on the Zenith Guard. 
I think that's a, that's good enough. He's at 10 guys now. We've absolutely whittled him down. I'm not capturing the city center just yet, but interestingly enough. You guys aren't touching the city center. Can I not just capture it? What? I'm in the city center and I'm not capturing it because they have nobody in here. Interesting. Okay, well, keep trying to focus on the Zenith Guard. Keep trying to do some more damage to them. Yeah, a third of their army is dead so far. We've only lost one of our Nazgul. Mm, I really hope nobody tries to siege us after this because we have to get out of here immediately and start making our way over to try and bring the ring back. Do I have to kill every single one of you? No. Nope. Yeah, now we can man the city center. Um, I'm expecting that is when you guys are start advancing forward. No? Really? I think they realize they're just going to let me have it. Effectively. I think the Witch King of Angmar. I think what I'm going to do is yeah, I'll send you up here. Uh, let's try and push through these guys. Then we can try and get you to flank around them a little bit. Because we can kind of push out here, kind of push off to the side a little bit. Let's see that. That is a laborer. Uh, and there's a sentinel over there. If we can kind of push off to the side, we can kind of have it so we can kind of flank them a little bit with you. If they try and push to the city center. At the moment, they're just ignoring us. I don't know why. But they're just sitting there menacingly. Although, with Balin's guard, I'm not surprised. But at the moment, they're not doing anything. Now, just for the last two minutes, just because I'm fucking curious, uh, I'm going to send you over here. Uh, I'm going to send the Witch King Bangmar over to the side. There's only about a minute left, and because it's anything that I'm fighting, uh, let's just kind of spam this and see if you all do that at once. What happens? <laughs> oh, there's uh, there's Balin's guard. Kind of run away from that. It doesn't seem like they stack, because you guys all screamed at the same time. Damn, I was kind of hoping they'd kind of stack there, but no, sadly not. Oh, Balin's guard is trying to make his way over here. I don't think you guys will be able to do enough damage in 25 seconds, though, but holy shit. Yep, you do a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I'm done with this battle, though. Hello, I kicked you out of your mountain, High Lord Balin, and now the ring is mine. The ring has come back to Mordor. Now we just need to be able to bring it back to us. Sadly, we lost one of our Nazgul. Uh, means I should be a little bit more careful on my way back. I was lucky with the elves. The elves did not have any armies that were able to attack me, thankfully. I think Isengard is just doing enough to them that they can't really focus specifically on me. But now that we have one less, uh, one less infantry unit too, um, now that we have one less Nazgul, we are a little bit more under threat of someone just attacking us and taking the ring back. So I might go north. I might actually kind of sneak through the mountains north and then kind of go east at that point and then kind of come back down along that way. Because we've been able to take the city now. We have been able to take Khazad-dûm. The High Lord of Khazad-dûm is dead. Actually, I think that also destroys the faction too. Uh, I can get a bit of money from sacking. I'll exterminate the populace just because I want to make sure we actually control this ourselves. Oh, and it makes so much money. Oh, it makes so much money. Oh, I love it. But yeah, no. Shivos... Shivos is the only one that keeps getting his ass kicked. Literally, I don't. no other Nazgul has been sent back yet. Only Shivos. Only him. But there we go. We have the One Ring. The Witch King of Angmar has it. And now we need to be able to bring... He's also the Conqueror of Moria. I love it. And we also make a shit ton of money now around here. I love this. Okay, so around this area. Um, oh, I can recruit Grimborn Reavers? <gasps> oh, that's dope. Oh, that's cool that I get access to those units. Okay. Um, around here, we need to start trying to convert them here. Um, I'm curious if I leave just you, because technically I'm, I, I'm allied with you guys. So I should be safe to kind of make my way up and around here, because these are, yeah, this is all, this is all goblin. This is all goblin land, so I can probably, if it's just okay with just you here. It is. Make less money, but we do get to have the city. I'm now going to start converting the area, and I'm going to hope that I can keep this. Hopefully, nobody decides to attack it while I am, uh, because I'm going to just leave immediately. I'm not going to stay around here for very long. We want to start making our way back to Mordor as soon as possible. We want to get the, because I, I want to get the ring back to Mordor as soon as we can. I think because of the fact that I have one less Nazgul, I'm really worried about what you guys are doing, going to possibly be able to do. 
So I think what we'll do uh, to make our way back, we'll go up and around. Kind of go up and around this way. We can kind of make our way here because this is... Yeah, this is all goblin. This is all goblin territory. That should be pretty safe. Um, I'm a little concerned about the Bjorn's Hall stuff, but hey, if we just get a little bit further right here, that's back into Dogo Dur lands, so we should be safe. So that is going to be our pathway back, all the way back over here. Um, I think you guys will be able to get back before um, Shivos does. Once he gets back, he's going to start trying to hop out with defenses around here, and he can take these guys. I can take the Temple of Car. Oh, actually. You guys should go regroup with them. Yes, I'll send you over that way. I'll, I'll slowly send you guys up to go help reinforce there. Um, let's make sure we grab all of these guys again. I'm going to try and bring these guys forward. Because I want to give you reinforcements. I think it'd be best... I think we will actually have to go north, which I don't like. But let's make sure we have as many men as we possibly can around here before then. Then, um, You guys, let's again, keep getting better carpenter's huts around here. Because now we're going to get a lot more money now that we control the um, mines of Casa Doom. And this is without the mines maxed out. Oh, it's without the mines maxed out. Oh, also, wait. Arid Lewin went to evil. That means they were given the rings. Can I steal that from them? I know you can... St I know if they, if they lose the... Uh, if they... If you attack those armies, you can lose the rings that you're given by from uh, Mordor. As Mordor, can I steal Arid Luin's rings back? Because those things would be really nice to put in Kazadu. Have a general watch over the area and have those rings reclaimed from them. It's tempting. It's very tempting. Because I know I'm gonna, we're going for world conquest around here. I would love if I could take the rings back. Take those rings that we gave Arid Luin back. That'd be great. I do think, though... This is probably a pretty good place to end this video for now. We've claimed Casa Doom. The One Ring is back in the possession of Mordor. Now we just need to get it back. We need to get back all the way over to Mordor and Sauron can return. It's going to take a while because I think we have to be a little bit more careful as on our way back now that we have the ring. Um, and I will gladly start accepting mercenaries on our way back. Um, just to make sure that we guarantee that it's, it's safety. So, like, these guys, once you're done, once uh, you can, you're going to start making your way up here. You're going to try and regroup with the uh, Nazgul to try and give them a little bit more oomph in their army so they can survive a little bit more. Try and regroup with them. But in the next video, basically, try and see if we can get back to Mordor. I don't know if we'll be able to get back into Mordor in one turn, in one video. Might take two videos to do that. But, almost there. So, or one step closer to re, uh, resummoning Sauron. Ah, it's beautiful. I'm going to be done for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign and any other thoughts you have on it in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Rampane, and I'll see you guys next time.